Good morning, Mojave. This is Dr. Osmussen coming to you from the studio. As a classroom community, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. All right, as you noticed, I did not actually do it this time because I know that my cadence is going to be a little bit off from all of the different classrooms. So that's how we'll do it this time. Um, here in the studio, we kind of do it in our minds so that way we have the timing right. I'd like to say thank you. Great job yesterday. What a great way to start the year with our students and our teachers. Everything just seemed to go so smooth. I want to remind you that masks are optional, but the dress code is not. So one of the things that I want to talk about is hats inside of the classroom. Remember, inside the classroom building, we take off the hat as respect to the learning environment. And then we make sure that our bodies are properly covered and that we don't have any type of undergarment that is being shown as an outer garment. Great job with lunch yesterday. Coming back on the first day and the first day for our sixth grade students who did just a wonderful job. It's always hard to get back into that routine. For our sixth graders, remember, there is no running to the lunchroom. And today, we are going to ask our um, teachers to let you walk to the lunchroom on your own. You did a nice job standing in the lines. And I promise to our sixth graders that those lines are going to start moving faster as soon as everybody knows what we're serving and they can make their choices a little bit quicker. Yesterday, a lot of our sixth graders were paralyzed by choice, and we know that this is a change from the elementary schools. Remember that when you are choosing seats, we're gonna ask you to spread out to the greatest extent possible. And this means that we may break up one large table into two or three smaller tables if there's space available. So do me a favor that when you sit down, don't sit so close to each other, Rather, make sure that you have a little space. And remember, you can sit inside, you can sit outside on the lunch patio. There's even space in between the two buildings, the gymnasium and the lunch patio. And I saw greater areas out there. And then you can also go sit outside on the fields. Now for our sixth graders, it's a little bit um, later in the day. The sun is a little bit higher in the sky and the shadows are a little bit smaller. And I really appreciated the way that, that you guys were taking good care of yourselves, being sunwise, staying in the shade, and drinking lots of water. And then finally, I want to I want to remind you: take care of personal business at lunchtime. So make sure that you're using the restroom. Make sure that if the, the bathroom's inside the cafeteria, the line is long. Ask for permission. We'll allow you to go into um, the main building. But before you leave the lunch patio area, either on your way to the office or the media center or into the main building, please ask for permission. Now again, especially for our sixth graders, you do not need to ask for permission to get up to use the restroom, to fill your water bottle, to wash your hands, or to go outside and play. And I was particularly impressed with our sixth grade and the way that they naturally put their backpacks where they were supposed to put their backpacks um, out in um, spread out on that, that walkway going out to the fields. We need to keep a good walking area between the lunch patio in the field in the event that we have an evacuation drill or in the event just to make sure that people don't trip. All right, today at lunch, we're trying something a little bit new. It is Domino's Pizza Day. So uh, most of the choices are gonna be Domino's Pizza. There will be a slight, uh, some other little choices, but um, bear with the cafeteria staff. This is the first time that they're going to be doing that. At lunchtime today, we are going to put out a couple of sign-up sheets. This is just to get our finger on the pulse and see who's interested in some after-school clubs. The first one I'm putting out there is for Gaming Club. So if you're interested in video games, just put your name on the sheet. That doesn't mean that you're signed up. It just means that we're getting an idea of the number of students that want to sign up. So that way we have the appropriate number of days that that club will meet. All right, put it in your mind, feel it in your body, close your eyes. How are you getting home today? 
Make sure that you have a clear plan so that way mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, aunt and uncle, wh with whomever you live with, that they know that you know how they expect you to get home so you can get home in a quick manner so that way no, they are not nervous about your slow arrival home. Yesterday that was about the buses. We held the buses up here a little bit and I know that it was just slow going out there. Um, so just make sure that you know what's happening. Also, right now, open your backpack, go into your backpack, pull out your health cards and other items that were supposed to be turned in that went home yesterday during seventh period in our first day packet. So right now, open up your backpack, pull out the health card, give it to your teacher. Teachers, please put that in Nurse Sharp's mailbox today. Eighth grade students are going to the library today. They're gonna to go with their language arts teachers and they will get their textbooks. Tom uh, and then tomorrow, the sixth graders will go and get theirs. Remember that you need to bring your um, Chromebook with you. And for our eighth grade students, please make sure that you are practicing your pause. And thinking about pause, hopefully teachers, you've been giving out some yellow tickets. If not, give them out this morning because at lunches today, I'm going to do some raffle drawings and give away some Mojave t-shirts. For our eighth grade students, we'll give you the choice between a Mojave t-shirt shirt and a Saguaro or a Coronado t-shirt because we know that you're thinking about high school. You're beginning this year with the end in mind. All right. Everybody's getting their pictures taken today during their social studies classes. Let's make sure that we walk in the hallways by practicing respect. We're going to work together with, um, with the folks that are down there doing the cameras. Well, that's Dorian Photography. We're going to work with our social studies teachers. We're going to make sure that we are working together. We're staying safe and we're practicing respect. And that means that you are practicing your pause. And we're going to talk a lot more about that tomorrow. Once again, the Robotics Club is starting on Friday, August 13th. That club runs from 2.30 until 3, uh, 4.30 um, Friday, next Friday, one week from tomorrow. You can p take a picture using your cell phone if you would like, but make sure you turn it off and put it back into your backpack because you're going to take a picture of the QR code. Baseball, that starts on Monday. Volleyball starts on Monday. There will be a parent and student athlete meeting on Monday the 9th, starting at 2.30 in the gymnasium. You should have gotten register my athlete information in your first day packet. And I'm also can, going to continue to give those out during the lunchtime. And then finally, if you have any leftover books from last year, even if you are at one of the elementary schools, please bring them into our school. Ms. Thomas has a turn-in bin right outside of the door of the, um, of the media center. And we would appreciate getting all of our materials back so we can pass those back out to students this year. And those are my announcements for today, Thursday, and I'm looking forward to a terrific day. I hope that you are too. Remember, you're gonna try your best to get to classes on time. Lots of adults will be in the hallways to help you find your way. We're gonna to continue to learn our way um, around this campus. And then by middle of next week, I'm gonna expect everybody to make those transitions in the four minutes of passing time that I've allotted you. But today, it's only day two, and we could still have some little hiccups and things that happen, and if they do, you laugh about it, you have some fun, we don't panic, we just simply move on with our day and, um, and don't make a big deal of it. All right, that's what I've got. Looking forward to seeing you all over campus and until I do, stay Mighty Mojave. Good morning Mojave, let's do this guys.